then it's better off staying in bed. Sometimes that's what the deer are doing too. Sometimes beautiful sunny days aren't the best days to hunt. And sometimes rainy, shitty, stormy days aren't the worst times to hunt. There's a lot to be learned about the weather and the animal's behaviour. I think that's where a lot of people may go wrong in their pursuit of these animals. Um, it might be on the trail camera, you might come out every day for the past week. And you come in there to hunt him on the weekend and you don't see him. Not only does he realise it's a weekend, but the weather's probably different on the weekend of what it has been for the past week. That's why it's not there. You might hear some wind blowing around now through the speaker. It's pretty common up here in these Alps, these mountains. There's always a breeze going on. Just because the weather report says it's going to be a west-northwester doesn't mean it's going to blow west-northwest at all. Up there it might be. Down here, this side of that gully, around the back of that knoll, and over on that ridge, which is all blowing a very different way. Wind direction. Hunting with it using it to your advantage. There's a lot to be learned there also. Far too often I'll hear a hunter race back into camp complaining that the wind's not right. Can't help but laugh at them. A lot of times the weather is not right. Or so it seems. Shortly after being out in the hills for a couple of hours, something's aligned. Next minute, was one of the best days hunting you ever had. The moral of that story was, wouldn't happen if you weren't out there. It's, that's quite wet. Hail. Check the weather before you go. Hooroo.